customer. And now we have uh, Mike Quincy. He's uh, one of the automotive specialists at the Consumer Reports. Uh, and we're going to talk about the top 10 picks uh, for 2015, uh, the annual report that Consumer Reports does. How are you, Mike? I'm great. How are you doing today? Excellent. Thank you very much. Very interesting list. As uh, It's been how many? Like 18 years now that you've been producing this uh, this selection of the best cars? Uh, it seems like forever. No. <laughs> it, uh, many years this has kind of been our, 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 big, our big thing, uh, the April issue of Consumer Reports. Uh, we always put this out to be a guide for, for people uh, looking to get a new car, even a used car, but our top picks list kind of has become an institution as, as we have uh, kind of the best of the best for all different price points. Yeah. So uh, since we don't have uh, a lot of time, only like 10 minutes, let's, let's go uh, uh, to the list. So it, the best car, again, the Tesla Model S. I mean, uh, not a surprise, I guess, but there were new models this year, like the BMW i8, i3. What happened there? Well, the, the, the Tesla, we, we actually, we haven't, we haven't tested an i8 yet. We, we borrowed one from BMW. Did, did, did find it pr pretty amazing, but uh, we don't have test results on it or oh, okay. reliability data. So, so for, for, the, for, the, for the best car overall, uh, the Tesla Model S still, still holds the crown. Uh, this is a car, all electric car, that has dazzled us with, with its great technology, its smooth performance, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's wicked, wicked fast. I know. And it scores, and it scores a 99 out of 100. I mean, this is the Valda Victorian of the class. Wow, that's amazing. I think last year it got a, like a perfect, uh, one in, your, in one of your tests it got like a perfect score, right? Not recently. Uh, that's, 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 as, that's as perfect as you're going to get. We, we, we took, we took a, you know, a point off because visibility isn't so great, access isn't so great. Uh, but, but other than that, it, it really does everything pretty well. Yeah, it's an amazing car, really. I had a chance to drive it too, and I, I, I have to agree. I mean, but I, I think the, the new the new models that are coming up in that segment are like pretty, pretty good too. So we'll be interesting to see next year. So and then the other big news, I guess, this year was uh, Buick that comes out like really well with uh, the beating the S uh, the three series from BMW. That's like kind of a surprise, I think. No. Yeah, it's a total surprise for all the, the people out there that are rooting for Detroit. To have to have some winners in their back pocket can can go to a Buick dealership and and check out the new Regal and Consumer Reports testing. Uh, this this car did very well. It has it has excellent German roots. It's based on a on, a, on an Opel, and uh, you don't really need huge displacement engines like you used to in Detroit. Yeah. The, the Regal gets by with a, with a two liter uh, turbocharged engine, put out it's about two hundred fifty nine horsepower. 24 miles per gallon overall for all its performance. What, what really surprised us the most is how well it drove. It has great steering, great handling, a nice interior. Uh, I, I'm probably going to say this several times, but uh, over and over, it, it will really surprise you. Yeah, it's amazing uh, also that, I mean, uh, GM uh, is just pushing the brand, but it's surprising how, may, how little people really appreciate this car for what it is, I think. Yeah, and I think General Motors is, is realizing that they don't have many uh, more second chances with the American buying public, and, and they, they, they need to put their time and, and money into producing a car that, that is not only reliable, but, but a lot of fun to drive, and I think they're putting a lot of commitment behind the Buick brand right now. Which is great. Uh, they're coming up with like really good uh, cars, and uh, they recently show a convertible and a big sedan, so I think that's going to be really good too for them. And then Subaru, three of the... 10 to post. I mean, it's it's really really amazing how how they have uh, come up in the in the recent years, right? Yeah, Subaru is one of those brands that kind of flies under the radar. If, if you're living in, in northern climates, uh, uh, then then you you always hear a Subaru. We're we're based here in Connecticut, where we have our 327 acre test track, and we see see Subarus everywhere. But um, it, th this is a brand that should get more recognition. Uh, we really like the Subaru Legacy. It's Consumer Reports top pick for 2015 for a mid size sedan, uh, 26 miles per gallon overall in our testing. Um, it, what will surprise you is it's is how comfortable it is, how quiet it is. It's not a bare bones. Uh, tinny, crappy car. Uh, this is a very solid performer that's, a, that's extremely satisfying to drive. Yeah. And uh, so also, what was the other one? The um, Forester, right? Yeah, the Subaru Forester is, our, is, a, is Consumer Reports' top pick for a small SUV. Uh, we've measured 26 miles per gallon overall, which is quite competitive for this segment. Uh, absolute aces for reliability. Uh, it is it is quiet. It's comfortable uh, with heated seats and, and standard all-wheel drive. It'll pull you through any 
snowstorm you can imagine. Yeah. And then and the green car of the year. I mean, 14 years in a row that Toyota Prius. I mean, nothing else. Not, no, nobody else has come up with something better. That's also amazing. Well, it, it is amazing considering that a lot of hybrids have come and gone. Uh, Consumer Reports test uh, all of the hybrids that come out there. And still, even though the Prius is a relatively old design, it is still um, it, it, it is still the, the top of the class for, for green cars. Uh, we measured 44 miles per gallon overall in Consumer Reports. Fuel economy testing, which is outstanding. Uh, but, but it's a real car. It has room for, for four or five adults. It has plenty of room if you fold down the back seat. Um, the, the, and it's got incredibly good reliability, which is amazing when you consider all the technology under the hood. Yeah, exactly. And that was one of the worries that people had at the beginning. Like, what's going to happen in 10 years? So now it's 14 and it's still number one, which uh, talks a lot about how well it's done, right? Uh, if Toyota, Toyota has got the hybrid technology down pat. We don't see reliability issues and Consumer Reports reliability data uh, for, for hybrid models at all. I mean, it really is incredible. Yeah. Then uh, you have another Toyota, uh, the the Highlander for uh, um, mid-size SUV. I mean, no surprise there either. I mean, like those cars are like they can last forever if people take good care of them, right? The, the Toyota hasn't made a bad generation of the Highlander, and this redesigned model uh, further strengthens its its place among uh, the best mid-size SUVs. You can get. Uh, three row seating, you can get all wheel drive, uh, you can get a hybrid model which, which produces um, really quite impressive fuel economy. Uh, the V6 model that we also tested returned 20 miles per gallon overall, which is quite good for the segment. And again, you've got that, that really solid Toyota reliability. Yeah, and then we go also from Japan, the, even, even though it's made here in the US, the Honda Odyssey as the minivan. I mean, it's kind of uh, interesting to see how uh, the Chrysler, the new Fiat Chrysler group, has uh, pretty much been uh, defeated by Honda uh, in, with, the, with the Odyssey, you know? Well, th th you bring up a great point. I mean, there was a time when, when Chrysler really owned the minivan market. market. They, they invented the minivan as, as, a, as a class of vehicle, but in, in many years have gone by since they've produced a competitive one. And Consumer Reports testing, it's always been either the Odyssey or the, the Toyota Sienna. And for the April issue of Consumer Reports, we've, we've give, we're giving the nod to the Odyssey. It drives a little bit better and has very good steering, good steering feedback, lots of room inside, a decent fuel economy for a minivan at 21 miles per gallon overall. Uh, Honda has not been doing a lot of things right these days, but they're still doing their Odyssey right. Yeah, and they put a vacuum cleaner as an option there, which is uh, kind of cool too, if, if you want. Yeah, we, 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 we looked at that. It's like it's a really expensive uh, option for the Odyssey. It's like the $40,000 vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I know, exactly. So, and the last one in the top 10 list is the Chevy Impala as the large uh, sedan. I mean, uh, again, not no surprise from GM. I mean, like the, the, the product is really, really good. Huh? I mean, we, we talked about how, how good the, the, the Buick Regal is, and it, it's another feather in General Motors cap when you look at how nice the Chevrolet Impala is. Uh, for, for a large sedan uh, that produces 22 miles per gallon overall with the V6, uh, a great ride and very sporty, gauging handling. Um, a lot of times the people in this segment will consider a, a Toyota Avalon or maybe even a Lexus ES350, and I'd say the, the, the better money is on the Impala. Uh, it, it's a good-looking car. It's got lots of room inside. It has really good controls. Um, uh, it, 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 again, go back to that word, surprising. It will surprise you how good it is. Yeah, and I think you have changed enough that it's not like a fleet car, like a not rental car like anymore. I mean, it, it has some oh, yeah, style. Sure. No, you, you're absolutely right. If you go back to the Impala of just a few years ago, three or four years ago, uh, that was a terrible car. That was a clear uh, indication that, that GM had had absolutely no interest in producing a competitive family sedan, and and they've really they've they've, they've scrapped all the all the old thoughts that you had about the old Impala. Just forget about it. Check out the new one. You, you'll you'll quickly forget how lousy the, the last generation was. Yeah, we're talking to Mike Quincy. He's one of the auto specialists at Consumer Reports about the ton, top 10 picks for 2015. And Mike, we have like one more minute. Can we talk very quickly? What's not on the top 10 list? It surprises me a little bit. Infinity, Lexus, and Mercedes Benz. Oh, well, sure. sure that in, in the April issue, Consumer Reports, we look at, at, at brands as an overall uh, entity. We look at, at their overall road test score, uh, the predicted reliability, 
and and we found that some very uh, you know high end brands have have kind of fallen off the radar. Uh, Mercedes Benz, for example, has really been dragged down lately uh, because of their uh, reliability. Uh, uh, Nissan and Infiniti, once you know really powerful, strong brands, are also suffering some identity crisis. Um, but again, we go back to Buick. Buick is is, is the only American brand within this list that cracks the top 10. They've even beaten out Honda, BMW, Acura, Volvo. Um, so again, uh, uh, check out Buicks because they're, they're, they're a force to be reckoned with. Excellent. Uh, Mike Winsey from Consumer Reports, is, uh, can you give us the website where people can look at this and I guess for the full report they have to subscribe, right? Sure. The April issue of Consumer Reports is on uh, on newsstands now. You can also go to consumerreports.org. We're a .org, not a .com, because we're a nonprofit organization. We buy all the products that we test. We take no advertising. We have no ties to government. So we're really out there to, just to tell you guys the truth. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike, and uh, I hope to talk to you soon. That's my pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.